Hope everyone is doing really great. I'm back here today to show you how to use a new device. The name of that new device is a photo resistor. Now, a lot of you have probably seen the word photo, like photograph or uh, photography or anything like that. Photo is the Greek word for light. So if you look at it, it is a light resistor. And we've talked about resistors before, but a resistor is something that resists the current of electricity. So it basically makes it weaker. So this is gonna be a device that uses light to make our electricity weaker. Let's go ahead and meet our photoresistor. This right here is a photoresistor, right? So you can see that it has two legs and then the top is this kind of uh, weird squiggly looking thing on the top, all right? So what's gonna happen with a photoresistor is it's going to use the brightness of its environment to change uh, how much resistance it gives. So in a very dark environment, a photoresistor has lots of resistance. So that must mean in a very bright environment that the photoresistor offers very little resistance. So we're gonna see this in play right now. So let's go ahead and just kind of get that wired up. So here's our breadboard. I'm going to take and I'm going to hook up uh, the photoresistor to the positive. So you can see I got that into the positive. And then the other end of my uh, photoresistor went right here into row 40 of my breadboard. So that means, and actually let me scoot that back a couple holes there. So row 40 is going to get its current from the photoresistor. So that current is going to have a strong voltage as long as it's bright in the room. But the darker it gets, the lower that voltage gets. Because remember, this thing is going to increase its resistance in the dark and decrease its resistance in the light. That means in the darkness, with increased resistance, it lets less current through. Uh, and in the brightness, with decreased resistance, it lets more current through. So. Row 40 has our current right now, and we're just gonna use that current to power up this LED. And remember, the long end of the LED, this guy right there is called the anode. That's the side that gets the current. And our cathode is the side that should be attached to negative. So row, four, row 40 has our current. That means we're gonna hook our long end, our anode, up to row 40. And we're gonna hook up our other leg into any other row. So that looks like it's on row 36, for example. All right. And so now the, that current is right there in row 36. And that current is positive. And if you remember, positive current really wants to go back to negative. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna attach row 30, oh, that's actually 37, sorry, I've been saying 36. I'm gonna attach row 37 to the negative. Okay, now we have a circuit. We have a path from positive to negative. It's gonna flow through the photoresistor and then it's gonna flow through the LED, and then it's gonna flow through this other resistor back to negative, so let's look. All right, and you can see that I have a blue light. And so it's pretty bright in this room, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it darker by covering up the head of the photoresistor, and you can see that my light dims quite a bit. And then when I make it bright, it gets br brighter. So again, when it's dim, when, I, when it's in a dark environment, that means that the resistance goes up. When resistance goes up, voltage goes down, which makes my light dim. And then in that brighter environment, the resistance goes down. When the resistance goes down, the voltage goes up, and my light gets even brighter. Now we're gonna try this, see if we can capture this and see how it looks on camera. I have a flashlight over here, and you can see I bring that in, and I'm just gonna kind of, it's really hard to tell on camera, but you can, boy, can you really see it in real life. That light gets so much brighter when I shine a flashlight. So when I'm shining a flashlight onto this photoresistor, Boy, is it letting the maximum amount through, right? The voltage really increases. Uh, we got a nice, strong flow of current right to that LED. Again, this thing's called a photoresistor. It uses light, photo, to resist electricity. All right, thanks, and I hope that was helpful.